Um, there's a question about is our current students going to be ex ex expected to repeat the same grade level next year? Um, is everyone going to be passing this year? How is it going to work? Um, GPA concerns, how are GPA concerns going to be handled? Um, we're going to kind of lump those in together into, I think, uh, some sharing about um, about grading. And I'm going to let Dr. Benz take over while I put up our bullet points from our graphic of what the board action was last night. We will be functioning under a pass and incomplete. We're not doing, some people are, are looking at pass fail. We're not doing a pass fail because we are not going to give up on our kids. Um, there are some students we know, we've, we've run the data that were um, struggling academically even before the closure. And we don't want the closure to be an obstacle to them being able to earn their credits. So with those students, we built, will be working individually on a case-by-case -case basis. Uh, also at the high school level, we did, um, we did make a decision to cut off the, the GPA and ranking after the third six weeks. That was at the end of the fall semester. We're going to not include grades that are earned this semester only. So spring of 20 semester only. Those grades will never be included in our GPA calculation. So for our current seniors, their final GPA was at the end of uh, December 2019 when they ended that semester and we calculated the GPA uh, and posted that. So their GPA has been calculated. Though. So that's finalized. For our coming grades, the classes of 21, 22, 23, you know, as they move forward, the grades that they earn this semester will never be included.